big old lionfish. Probably one, one of the biggest lionfish I've ever seen. They're great, great to eat, and they're an invasive species, so it's really important to get them off the reef. That is a monster. But they're really poisonous, especially with these top spines right here. So be real careful when you put them in the cooler, okay? All right, so there's our lionfish. These are evasive. They're not supposed to be here, but now that they're getting bigger, they're actually really good to eat. So just talk to Fabian over in the uh, restaurant. He's gonna cook us lionfish and hogfish tacos. When you're filleting a, when you're filleting a lionfish, you wanna make sure you don't get spiked by these. That's where all the neurotoxins are. So you just want to take your time, fillet it, just like you would any other, you know, grouper or bass, something like that. Nice sharp knife is very important because their their skin is pretty tough. Now, if you guys have heard recently uh, about the 12 year old that lives in Jupiter that got all the notoriety about figuring out that these lionfish can actually live in nearly fresh water. That's my little niece, Lauren Arrington. And it's my older brother, Aubrey's daughter. It's pretty cool. Did a bunch of nice research at school at the King's Academy. Look at that. Nice. There you go. Lionfish filet. Thanks to Fabian. We're going to be having lionfish tacos. All right, so just got a shower, got cleaned up. I'm going to go in and get Fabian some fish. See what kind of special he's going to make me. I guess Sarah's feeling a little rough. Her ears giving her a hard time. Look at that view, y'all. Look at that. Miss Sandy. All right. We've got Jimmy over here, Jimmy Morris. Right. <laughs> oh, here he comes, the chef himself. What I want to do is just cut it up into strips. This is a lot of meat. That is a lot of, that's beautiful. Some natural lime juice. The Everglades season that you guys gave me, it's really awesome. It is really, really awesome. Some of that over there. So I totally did not tell him to say that either. I just brought oh. some and gave it to him. It is nice. It is nice. <laughs> Usually when you go come in the Caribbean, you have fish fingers. They just season them. Dip in the flour, the egg, and the breadcrumbs. I use panko breadcrumbs because it gives a much a nicer crunch to it. But that all they do is just put it in the flour. You put it in the egg wash, put it in here like so, and throw it, the toss it in the frying pan. Me, fish fingers should look like fingers. So what I would do is try to roll it. That's a pretty big finger, but it looks like a finger. Absolutely. The egg wash is eggs, milk, Liberian parents, and again, just a touch of the Everglades seasoning. I never heard of that. So you actually, you put milk, eggs, Liam parents, and seasoning in your egg wash. Yes. Oh man, that's sweet. Where did you learn how to cook? At the Bahamas Hotel Training College right here in Grand Port Grand Bahama. Oh man, you do a great job. Thank you very much. Do you like it nice and hot, medium, how long? Probably medium. You don't want it to burn because of the breadcrumbs. You want to be really quick about it, but at the same time you want the fish to cook. So I turn it down to the medium heat. Okay. You don't want the, you don't want the oil to burn it, so we're gonna push it another five more minutes and let it finish cooking. Look at that. Look at those fish tacos, buddy. You guys go ahead, man. We got plenty. I've tried lionfish before. Never have? No. Well, what do you think, Hunter? Any good? 
some delicious. <laughs> oh yeah? What do you think? Has it? Awesome. It yeah. I, I need more. <laughs> well, eat I more. I need more. Eat more then. I don't I care. That's yeah, pretty I good stuff. Okay, so what's up, everybody? Oh, here's Mar. He always comes. He hangs out with me every day in my office. As you can see, he's climbing up on my lap right now. But I am sitting here editing the lionfish video. And we kind of just ended it, you know? We went in and cooked all the fish up with Chef Fabian, and then we walked out to the pool. And I didn't even know who those kids were or the family was, but they looked so cool and they were having a great time at the pool that I just invited them to eat with us. And they loved the fish. And that's what it's all about, going on trips, meeting new people, which is what I love so much about YouTube. I have, I mean, I have I feel like I know all of you. I love all your comments. I mean, this is my desk. This is where I sit here and do all of my YouTubing. This is like my little domain. And Sarah leaves cool notes on the wall like that right there. And Marlon, every time I'm at my desk, he crawls right under there. That's where he sits. He just loves hanging out underneath my desk while I'm working. And Rammer, she always comes and sits and just watches because she's awesome. Tebow's out there hoping that I go play ball with him. But uh, anyway, thank you guys so much for being a part of our lives. Thank you so much for YouTubing and subscribing and just think of how we can explode this channel and grow it. I mean, this is our life. Sarah's a nanny. But, I mean, it won't be too long and we're going to be just YouTubing full time. That'll give us opportunities to start vlogging and make new channels so we can show special stuff. We're getting ready to, you know, it's getting close to hunting season. So we're going to be shooting our bow and arrows and our guns and just it open up, opens up the world of opportunity to do really cool stuff and hang out. And I am going to do my darndest to figure out how I can meet as many of you as possible because y'all rock. And we appreciate you so much. Thank you so much. Please give us a thumbs up on the video because it actually really helps us. Leave a comment. Let us know what you think. And if you haven't already, subscribe. Peace. We're out.